Welcome to Side Notes. I'm here at the Tarragon Theatre, Fringe Festival 2014. We just watched a play called Elvis and Dick. We're about ready to talk to Fife, who is the Elvis Press impersonator for that play. Thank you so much for your time first. Thank you, Reginald. Thank you. The play itself is about uh, Alfred Presley when he met Richard Nixon. Yeah. What was your thought the second you first saw the, the script? Well, the first thing I thought was that it was a uh, it was a very funny script. It was a uh, was a lot of humor in it, and it it follows kind of the the pattern of an Elvis Presley movie, and that's kind of uh, fun in and of itself because I'm a huge Elvis fan. So, you know, uh, and the music's great and uh, lots of fun songs. Yeah. Well, you were telling me just before we started doing this interview that yes. uh, growing up, yeah, the influence that Elvis played on your life. Can you talk briefly about that? Yes, certainly. Um, his music was always played in our household. Uh, my mom played him all the time and uh, we listened to him as a family and um, amongst a lot of other vocalists and we'd listen to recordings of, um, you know, people that uh, made, like, uh, we'd listen to JFK speeches too. We had, we had a wide range of records that we'd listen to, the Apollo landing and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, but for Elvis, I mean, it was really um, all kinds of music. Uh, I think the fact that he drew from so many types of music, gospel and rhythm and blues and the blues and, uh, and it, all that, you know, I think it, we really felt, you can feel his voice and, uh, and all the emotion and feeling that came with his music. And I think that's what really inspired us, you know. Top five Elvis favorite songs Ooh, of all time. Oh man, okay, let me see. Well, If I Can Dream is a great song. Uh, how Great Thou Art, Don't Be Cruel, uh, All Shook Up, and uh, hmm, let's see, we don't have this one in the, we don't have this one in the show, but it can't help falling in love with you is a favorite of mine as well. When you're on uh, stage there, right, uh, and you're doing the Elvis Presley impersonation, yeah. do you feel that the spirit of Elvis himself is possessing you when you're oh. singing the songs? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I, I wish it was, <laughs> but um, I like, uh, I like, I like the idea that um, rather than doing in so much an impersonation, I like, I prefer to think of it as more of an incarnation. Uh, there's, for me, there's a, there's a spiritual quality to it, and I do uh, try to honor that as best I can. Yeah, yeah we, we all hope that the memory of Elvis goes on for years to come. Yes. And you're doing other shows outside of this, this play here too? Uh, yes, well, actually, I'm going to be going to Collingwood this year, which is the uh, first time for me. I've never been out there for the big Elvis festival. And um, beyond that, I'm, I'm not too sure. We'll see. But uh, And you also mentioned some acting. Did you get involved with? Some acting? Uh, yeah, um, I've done a number of shows. Well, the last show I did here, actually, was about Walt Disney. Uh, and I got to play Walt. But that was, man, that was like two decades ago. <laughs> and it was in the extra space, but... Do you have a website? I do have a website, yeah. Um, there's a few of them. Uh, the www.fibulani.com is sort of the, the basic one. But, yeah, if you punch in PHI, Five Bulani, the, something will come up. You know, you won't be offended. <laughs> <laughs> one question I like to ask people, you know, looking back over everything that you've done, uh -huh. you know, what kind of message do you want to send out to people that are just getting into the entertainment industry themselves? I think it's very important to um, understand, well, why you're getting into it. Um, sometimes it's a difficult path to take. Um, the arts can be challenging, but I, I think ultimately, if it's something that you need to do, and because you have a passion for it and you need to follow your bliss, um, I think, you know, you, you'll gain inspiration by continuing to do it. And, and you, never, you never really have to second-guess yourself if you have a passion for something. So I think you want to you know, really build that flame of passion for yourself. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.